everyone, welcome back to yet another Star Stable video. As always, please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's just get right into the video then. Let's go. Okay, so it says, your help is needed this week. James is worried about a strange man scaring tourists in the hollow woods. Wait, is that Professor Hayden? Go find out what he is up to and help him with an insect infestation. If that wasn't enough, you can find James in Fort Pinta. He's writing a book to sell to tourists. Help James quick with his book, collecting horse facts and taking pictures. And there is a reward. Nice. There is a new day slash night mode and new purchasing window. All right, so let's just get right into the video then. Let's go. Okay, this is really weird. I can't film full screen because uh, of the anti-cheat, so that's lovely. All right, anyways, we'll just do it like this. It's fine. So the first thing, if you go to settings, there is actually a new feature in creative mode that you could change the time of day. This is so helpful because it's 3 a.m. right now, but you can't tell. You literally can't tell, Bestie. It is gorgeous. I don't know what else you'd use it for, but it's, it's good for me. I really do like it. And yeah, I guess we'll just head over to the forest then and see Professor Hayden to start the quest, which is kind of interesting. I thought we had to do the quest to get the feature, not gonna lie, because I thought they went like hand in hand and stuff, but all right, we'll go and help out. Or, oh, it's probably a quest that's like, is it in Fort Pinta maybe? I think it might be, I don't know. I just, I don't see a yellow mark in the forest, but I see one at Fort Pinta. So we'll just head on over to Fort Pinta then to check it out. So let's go. It's so weird that it's daytime. It literally is. And it stays this way too. Okay, here we go. Here is a quest. No, no. Okay, strange sightings. Margaret, you have to help me. There's a reared man in the hollow woods roaming around and scaring all the tourists. This is unacceptable. I am just about to release a book about horses that will lure every tourist in and the world to our little island. You want to see it? Well, I'm still writing it or looking for someone to write it. But no matter, the fact still stands that Fort Pinta can't lose tourists right now or ever. And this weird man is scaring them all away. Unacceptable, reproachable, ungoodable. You get my meaning. For the sake of the sacred tourists, please go to Hollywood Woods and find this troublemaker. I'm just, I'm just gonna call for pickup. It's easier. It's literally daytime. That is so weird. It was kind of sudden Star Stable was putting out this feature, but I mean, hey, I'm not mad. It's really good. I would love that, actually. For pictures and stuff, you could have rain, thunderstorm. You could train in a thunderstorm. I would love that. Okay, we have to go look in these yellow circles in the hollow wood. That wasn't there before. What? Wait. Ooh, whoa, whoa. What is this? What is this? Wait, that wasn't there before. Was it? Was it actually there before? Okay, maybe I just haven't been to Hollow Woods since forever. Oh my gosh, you're telling me I went all the way out of my way just for there not to be a person? Oh, I found his camping spot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, someone else already has? Are you kidding me? What is this? Is there gonna be a race or something? She teleported. Hello, Margaret. Bothering tourists? Me? You are making less sense than usual. I came here to study the infestation in the forest. Surely you have seen the bugs swearing the trees in the forest. No? No attention to detail. Well, this James will be very happy to hear. I will leave the area as soon as I have studied the infestation. Oh! It's the infestation around the dead trees. Uh -huh. oh, 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 I do not like this race. Wait, oh, you're supposed to be chasing it. Oh, <laughs> oopsie. All right. Oh, yes. Thank you, bug infestation, for waiting for me. That's very helpful. Thank you for waiting Um, so that I could continue chasing you. I appreciate it. Are we going to have to, like, cut down the dead trees or something? I thought I was supposed not to run into the bug infestation, but it doesn't care. Like, I was trying to keep my distance. So, little tip, you could do that. Beautiful, love that. <laughs> we collected them. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. Now let me study them so we can learn what these small creatures are. They are your weakened bark beetles, wondrous small creatures. However, they can be quite devastating to trees that aren't used to them, and these trees certainly are not. We should encourage them to move on to a more suitable habitat. Since you are already here to help me, Margaret, I will mix a type of insistide, but I'm lacking the necessary ingredient. And they're not even in the forest? You're telling me we have to go all the way? Well, I'm not mad because it's my home stable. <laughs> Bestie, that's a good thing. Because I can just scurry on back here whenever I need to, but... Hello, Margaret. Professor Hayden has sent me to get the oil. I found some oil for you, but I don't have a container for it. What do you mean? Do you just have, like, spare oil lying around in your house? Um, any regular old bottle will do. There's recycling. I'll search for soap. I was sure I had some to spare. It looks like an important bottle. Um, that was placed there on purpose, so I don't know why we took it. Maybe it was recycled decoration, and that just happened. Hey, it's the bestie doing the quest with me. Well, this bottle's perfect. Here's the neem oil. As for the soap, I've got some news and some bad news. The bad news is I've run out without noticing, but the good news is I know where you could get some. Harold sent you all the way here to get soap. I don't have to be flattered or concerned, but of course you can have some soap, Margaret. Hang on, I got a lovely batch this week. Hmm, this is strange. I could have sworn I stashed my new soap box in here. Who would steal soap? This one smelled quite bad, like fish. Oh, look over there. Okay, I'm guessing it's a race, so I'm not going to try to sneak up on it, but uh, it's fine. Does it continue on this trail? Oh, it does, it does. Okay, and then here maybe? Yes! Okay, we're figuring out the race. That's lovely. Cat! A cat stole the soap? I know the scent isn't for everyone, but for a cat too? Well, we gotta get back. Thank you, now let me package this for you. Here you go, Margaret. Thank you for getting me my soap back. Bring the soap back to Professor Hayden. Okay, let's go. Hopefully that's all the ingredients he needs, some oil and soap. Sounds like something you'd use to clear a bug. I don't know, but maybe they're special bugs, so let's go. Okay, I've combined the ingredients. Remember, Margaret, this mixture would kill most regular bugs. But luckily, the Eurwegan bark beetle is no normal bug, and it has some unique talents. Now help me spray the trees. <laughs> you. Oh, wait, it fixed it. It's because it was a sick tree. Crusty. Oh, it wasn't crusty. Well, technically it's still crusty, but never mind. I love how spread out they are so my horse doesn't have to run a lot. Wow. Oh, only on one cutscene? Oh, that's lovely. That is lovely. I thought I was going to have to stop by every tree. Ooh, it's like the flag thing. Flag race. There we go. Did a tree just move on my map? I'm a little bit concerned. Okay, then. Oh, we didn't even need to do them all. We only needed six. I would have done the ones that were closest then. I don't know why this kept popping up and I wasn't reading it right. I was like, oh, okay, we need to go to do all the trees. Thank you. Now all we do is move them into a more suitable habitat. My work is done. I'll meet you at Fort Pinta and to make sure James is alone, blah, blah. Okay, let's go back to James then. Perfect. But don't you see? All you have to do is write some nonsense information about horses. Who will buy it no matter what? You know what a lot of animals. It should be a walk in the park. I don't have time to help you with your hobbies, young man. I am very busy. Margaret, perhaps you can talk some sense into him. Now that the tourists aren't scared of the weird man in the forest anymore, they will surely come flocking back. Uh, I have this grand vision, a book containing all the information about horses, every breed, and every gate. And you'll write the book for me. The profit of all the tourists visiting the island will get one copy each. It's astronomical. You don't care about profits? Hmm, imagine the knowledge we could spread about horses and how to care for them. How about that? Please ask him in my stead. He refuses to listen to me, but he seems like to like you enough to leave you in one piece. He was literally right there. He could hear what you're saying. Will he never leave me alone? Fine, I'll do it. Knowledge should be shared, but that I agree with no matter what. How much it pains me to agree with James. Margaret, you know a lot of horses already, and you know your way around the island. You've proven yourself quite reliable. What do you say? Could you be my assistant? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Is that possible? May I photograph your horse? We're just going to take them all at once because it's easier. So let's do that. We need to go first to outside Fort Pinta. And it looks like it is on the beach, but please say no, no, 
No, oh, wait, I don't want to go all the way down there, just have to go back up. So I hope it is on the beach. If it's not, someone's going to have a bad time. It's not on the beach. It was up there. I'm gonna have a bad time. Hello, Margaret. Is there something I can do for you? You need reference photos for an informational book about horses? Okay, perfect. Take pictures of the different horse breeds. We have to take a picture. Oh, okay, it's only four. It's not every single horse breed. We're good, oh, we're good. No need to worry. Okay, these photos look great. Wait a minute, that camera can film. Why don't you set it up on the wall there and film while go in motion? I'm sure Professor Hayden will appreciate your dedication and we'll find use for such exciting footage. All right, well, I kind of did, all right. Anyways, where is the place you want me to put? Where, oh my gosh, that is sneaky, sneaky. It's all the way there. <gasps> film gates, oh my gosh. Okay, walk, is it filming? Wait, it's here, okay, there's a walk. Is a trot? Fast gallop recorded? Okay, is this a slow gallop? I'm not in the circles though. Oh, okay, good. Nay! What's that, Walgo? You think we're done here and should move on? Sonort! Alright then, let's see the next thing we need to do for this book is... So we have to go to Moreland next, I think, and talk to someone over there, so... We'll just head to Moreland and then afterwards we can go to Starshine. And those are the three places we need to go for the book. Hey, next spot, next spot. Okay, you want to interview me? We have a lot of not eligible people around here. Blah, blah, blah. Give me the quest. Give me. Okay, so we need to interview all these people. You want to know if I have any? He's like, oh, you have people to interview. Oh, but start with me. Yay. Okay, here we go. And next one. We need Maya. If I have any fun information to share about horses. Oh, do I? Did you know a horse's teeth take up more space in their head than their brains? The, or that they have 10 ear muscles while humans only have three? Or that they have 205 bones in their skeleton? Or that, why are you looking at me like that? Am I getting a bit carried away? Sorry, I haven't slept much lately. Let me think of something a bit more useful. Oh, I know. If a horse has its ears pinned back, a swishing tail, and bare teeth, you better keep your distance. It means they're angry and might do something you might not want to be a part of. Our stable cats use the same body language. Isn't that cool? That two animals of such different sizes show anger in a similar way. Oh, I learned something. Okay, and we have one more person to interview, which is... Hello, Margaret. If I have any interesting facts about horse racing to share with you for your book. Oh, exciting. Hmm, let me think. Oh, did you know that horses can begin their career in racing as young as two years old? And that most retire at the age of four or five. They're so young. I think we've done everything we can here. Do you think we should move on, Wall Goat? Winnie. Yes, I agree. Let's continue our work on the book. Yes, Wall Goat. You're doing it is great. Yes, Wall Goat. What? <laughs> I love the internal monologue right there. I really do. Gives me my own perspective because I don't know it and I need to be told what it is. So, oh, wait, Starshine. Starshine, Starshine. Who are you to see? Last dude. Hello, Margaret. Is there anything you need help with? Blah, blah, blah. Book stuff, book stuff. Okay, uh, what do I need to do? Oh, I need to interview people here. Okay, let's do that. I hope you can include a selection about Western riding in your book. I think one of the most interesting sports is Origins. Uh, it evolves from cattle ranging and cows. You're doing a good job, Margaret. We're very passionate about educating people here at Starshine Rants. I want to interview my guy. My guy's selling at the food store. Why can I not interview him? I want to interview my guy. Oh, okay, fine. Wanna know if I have any insights in horses I can share with you? Absolutely. <laughs> at birth of new fools in the wild, they had to be able to run up with the herd to survive, which is why they can stand and run with the hours of being born. And they're born with fully formed hooves. I bet the readers of your book will find this as interesting as I do. It's truly a miraculous birth every time. I did not know that, actually. Yay! I love this NPC. All right, let me do that. Perfect. If I know anything interesting about horses, hmm, 
Hmm, they graze like sheep, but while sheep have a stomach with four chambers to help them digest their food, a horse only has one. How does a horse get enough energy with only one chamber? I'm not an expert, but it has to do with how they break down their food. Yes, exactly. Now, what's the next step for the book? I missed some of my own internal dialogue there. I didn't even mean to click that. Now I'm sad because I'll never know what my internal dialogue was saying. No, why'd I go to Firgrove? It's for Penta. Uh -huh, I'm wasting my money. End time, this trailer takes me like five hours. Okay, here we go. Film yourself, blah, blah, blah. Gather knowledge, blah, 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 and boom. Good work, Margaret. I have to say, you made quite a good insistence. Have you ever considered a research career? Well, never mind. Wait here, I'll be done in just a moment or a couple of weeks. Wait, we get a cute top. Yes. Okay. This slow-mo pan up. That is so cute right there. Professor Hayden is on flick. Wait, he's back. That took longer than expected. Don't tell me you've been waiting here the entire time. You use have nothing to do. Cage worms and insect moss, certainly not. What have you done except us both? No fair, without me there would be no book. I deserve a piece of the glory and fame. No matter, I can make some alternatives before printing it to sell. Speak up so I can hear you. No respect for their elders. I said that I can't wait to print this book. Yeah, that's what you said. Come on, Margaret, hand me the book. It's time to make our tourists rich in knowledge and me rich in gold. Okay, finally it's here. This is going to sell like butter, Margaret. You have done Fort Pinta a great favor. Oh, that was the entire quest line. Let's see the shirt we get. It's this? That is kind of cute. Look, it's like a jean jacket and kind of like a darker. Yeah, that's really cute. Look at that. We're wearing a hoodie with a jean jacket on top. Star Stable makes it look really good. Look at that. It must be really cold in Gervik though, maybe. But anyways, that was the whole quest line and that was what you get from it as a reward. Let me know what you think about this uh, update and your thoughts on the day slash nighttime slider in the comments down below because now you and like your club or anyone in the game could be at a separate like time in Star Stable if that makes sense which is kind of cool, but you never know what time zone they're going to pick. So yes, let me know what you think about these down in the comments down below. And as always, I hope you have the best day ever. Bye-bye. <laughs>